We're learning more about a police chase in Fort Worth that ended with a shootout and a burglary suspect pulling a gun on himself. Officers were responding to a burglar alarm last night on Beach Street near 121. Matt Houston is live at the scene with more details. Matt, what, what are you seeing right now? Well, Chris, there are actually about a half dozen bullet holes in this taco cabana behind me. Remnants from the shootout that Fort Worth Police Chief Neil Noakes described as a, quote, run and gun battle. Now, those rounds landed in the drive through wall just a few feet from the window. No one at the restaurant was hurt. This, as you mentioned, this all started across the street around 9 o'clock. Authorities responded to a burglar alarm sounding at this heavy equipment store. Police say they ID'd a suspect who later ran away and shot at police as he fled. Three officers returned fire, but Chief Neil Noakes says right now it doesn't appear they hit the suspect. Instead, he says the man fell, sat down, sat up, shot himself in the head. The last thing we want to see is anything like this on the streets of Fort Worth. Uh, but unfortunately, that suspect made the decision to turn it into that. Now, Fort Worth PD officers were not hurt in this. We're still waiting for police to release body camera footage from the shooting. Several stores have turned over a surveillance video and that sort of thing for police review. The medical examiner has not yet identified the man who died. We'll keep you posted as we learn more. In Fort Worth, I'm Matt Houston. All right. Back to you.